What's going on there guys? Good evening. It is the Earthmaster here on the live stream with an update video on this beautiful Thursday evening, February 24, 2022, about uh, 6.25 p.m. California time. Latest quake out there on the globe shows a large 6.2 earthquake in the region of the Java... Uh, Java Trench, it looks like. Let's go ahead and check this out a little bit more in detail on the latest information here from the USGS as we scoot over here to the west, just north here of the Java Trench area around the Indonesia region. Uh, some activity kicking up there. Kind of looked like it was right there on the Java Trench, um, just on the globe. But uh, this, even this area has been relatively quiet here uh, for quite some time. This movement well inland and uh, pretty shallow earthquake activity as well. Uh, 6.2 at 12.3 kilometers below surface. Looks like there was a, uh, a four quake, uh, a 5.0 prior to the 6.2 at uh, 10 kilometers or so within the vicinity of the larger earthquake. Kind of a, a area where we haven't seen a whole lot of movement recently. Of course, the uh, if you remember a few days ago, we had that westward push of activity um, from the Pacific Plate uh, and the Philippine Plate westward into the Philippines and up around the China Sea. Uh, but now, <clears throat> over the last day, it's been relatively quiet. <clears throat> and uh, so we not, now we got a little bit of activity ramping up there to the west, further west. So, so we'll keep an eye on this area pretty closely. Um, areas back behind it here to the east. I haven't seen a whole lot of movement today. A little bit of scattered activity around the Papua New Guinea and area south of the Philippines. Let's go ahead and check out regional information here from this area. And a whole bunch of sixes in there. I'm not too fond of that. Uh, looks like uh, quite a bit of movement here historically. Of course, this area, Java Trench uh, to the west here, can get some pretty large earthquakes. Very damaging earthquakes there along that trench region. Uh, let's see what we got when it comes to terms of magnitudes out here. At least within the vicinity of the star, which is where that 6.2 struck. Uh, looks like we've seen some pretty deep movement and shallow earthquake activity kind of mixed in out here. Uh, at least 6 to 7 magnitude range earthquakes. Maybe possibly some 7 to 8s in there as well. Uh, definitely 7 to 8s and higher uh, around the Java Trench region. But uh, specifically here within this area of the um, of this area, definitely uh, does see some earthquake activity there, uh, historically speaking. Uh, moving on here to the east, a little bit of activity kicking up here off the coast of Japan into the Japan Trench. Of course, this area up here is still under a, under the gun for a potential large-scale movement. Uh, it's been all too quiet in terms of releasing quite a bit of activity. We've seen a lot of deep movement along the trench region here, uh, southward, but uh, no subsequent release of pressure up here around the uh, the uh, the locked area, so to speak, up here around the uh, subduction zone itself. Um, today, 4.4, and uh, let's see what else we got. 4.8 earlier this morning as well. 4.4 is the one inland. Uh, looks like we had a little bit of shallow earthquake movement, and then some deeper activity as well downstream. Uh, into the Japan Trench at uh, 123.7 kilometers. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Solomon Islands area, Papua New Guinea. Still seeing that swarming. This was from earlier. Doesn't look like, at least within the past few hours, we've seen anything uh, further uptick in that region, but still a hot spot to watch there uh, just north of the Solomon Sea. Uh, Vanuatu, Fiji, and Tonga region. Some activity here around the uh, uh, Tonga and the Kerbedek Trench well downstream here at 501 kilometers into this deep area. 4.4 uh, earthquake and uh, 5.0 in the uh, New Zealand region, Kerbedek Trench. This was earlier this morning, so we haven't seen any further uh, amping up of earthquake activity, but it's very possible now that we're getting a little break in movement here uh, further to the west uh, that we could see things start to light back up here, uh, areas back uh, behind this earthquake activity so be on guard just keep your eye open for that just uh, seems like that's kind of the way it works unless we're looking at some further uh, heightened pressure up here to the north and to the west about ready to uh, to pop off so to speak um, definitely keep your eyes open here to the east areas here to the west of the 6.2 and north some movement around the afghanistan and the iran area 
Uh, again, looks like uh, 4.6 in the uh, eastern part of Afghanistan up there, 201 kilometers deep, pretty deep earthquake up there in the mountains, uh, happening just a little bit earlier. And some older earthquake activity from this morning, it looks like uh, 4.2 in the Iran area. <clears throat> There's the uh, earthquake down there in the uh, Democratic Republic of the Congo. Had that 4.4 uh, earthquake up here around Greece. Seen a 4.1 uh, kick up here, 10 kilometers or so below the surface. The Atlantic Ocean, pretty quiet, not a whole lot going on. There's this movement in the South Sandwich Trench that we seen earlier uh, this morning, late last night, early this morning. Uh, moving in here to the Puerto Rico area, southwest region. Let's go ahead and bring uh, the all magnitudes here so we can see this a little bit better. Looks like uh, some earthquake activity still over the last 24 hours, one within the last hour with a 2.1. And uh, generally uh, kind of above background level activity here when we're looking at the multitude of quakes, just kind of a pretty good uh, number of them up around the Puerto Rico trench as well. What do we got in South America? Pretty uh, quiet in terms of 4.0 and above. West Coast activity lighting up a little bit down south into the Southern California region here with uh, some red circles indicating that most recent earthquake activity. Looks like just off the San Jacinto Fault Zone uh, northeast of Marietta. And a little activity here around the border, 1.1 just to the west of Mexicali, well off the Imperial Fault and uh, of course the plate boundary up here looks uh pretty quiet for now the san andreas fault no major swarming um in that area a little bit of activity well off the coast of oceanside and the san diego region uh, some deeper movement well not really three to five kilometers for a 2.0 and a 1.7 uh looks like it's well off the san diego uh fault system right here there's a couple other ones scattered out and possibly some other ones we don't even really know about um, but for now nothing significant just that uh, two little quakes out there in the Pacific Ridgecrest and uh, let's see eastern part of Sierra Nevada kind of yeah I can't really say it's back to normal it is picking back up in terms of multitude of quakes just micro quakes for now uh, right around the Long Valley super volcano getting some activity right smack dab in the caldera haven't really seen that too often. Uh, seven days of activity uh, general, generally shows most of the movement here outside of the Long Valley Caldera, which kind of sits here uh, in this fashion. If you kind of draw a circle within this area uh, for that uh, region of the Long Valley area. So uh, yeah, nothing significant, uh, but a couple small microquakes there stirring up a little bit there at Long Valley and the Antelope Valley region up here couple microquakes in that area as well <clears throat> uh, what else we got Bay, Bay Area looks pretty quiet for now and uh, of course the geyser region this thing's always popping off here 48 earthquakes around the Mount or the uh, Cobb Mountain area south of the uh, Mount Kanaktai region hydrothermal operations going on out there uh, so movement off the coast of Northern California, 2.9 at 24 kilometers deep here, right around the plate boundary of the Pacific and the uh, close to the Gorda Escarpment area. The Gorda Plate kind of sits up here, of course. And then you got the Juan de Fuca Plate, but a lot of people just call this whole section here the Juan de Fuca Plate. Uh, but there's actually three separate sections here, Explorer, uh, Juan de Fuca, and the uh, Gorda Plate here. Two little micro, micro plates. Uh, so movement, yeah, kind of kicking up here a little bit, and also around the Gorda ridges here. You can see the back build up of the ridges from the increased pressure uh, over time. I was just looking at the depth of this earthquake here, about 10 kilometers for a 2.5. See what we got here. I'm kind of curious about trimmer before we shoot to this activity up north here. Let me check this out here. Uh, refresh this. 16 epicenters of trimmer along the Cascadia, uh, Vancouver Island ranges, Northern California. 
Uh, not a big number, only just a handful of them down here, but that's possible that we could be uh, definitely seeing an increased risk in the, uh, some pressure out here along the plates uh, with not only that trimmer activity there in Northern California, but the subsequent uh, activity offshore. Uh, far as up around the Vancouver Island ranges though, uh, these guys just kind of spotty. I mean, 16 is not even that big of a deal. Uh, not a whole lot of earthquake activity shown up here on this map. Earthquakes Canada map. We'll go ahead and check them out while we're speaking of the northern end of the Cascadia and Definitely seen some activity ramp up here over the last day uh, Last couple days the red circles there indicating uh, the earthquake activity today Where's the plate boundaries? Let me pop this back up uh, of course um, Trimmer activity kind of kicking up here around the Vancouver Island ranges and seeing some back building of pressure up here some microquakes right along the uh, northern end of the Cascadia and it's right smack dab on it and uh, also well to the west of 3.3 so yeah definitely uh, you know just because the USGS ain't really shown nothing on the Cascadia there's definitely some activity ramping up here at the northern end <clears throat> uh, let's see here let's go ahead and go into the Washington region Mount St. Helens uh, seen some activity earlier today and once again nothing significant and uh, Mount Rainier a couple earthquakes on the side of them side of it and a 2.2 out here northeast of Seattle Let's See what we got going on around the Jackson Wyoming area. I've been kind of watching this pretty closely here Of course he had that uh, 2.7 kick up last night over the last seven days or so uh, does show that 2.7 striking around the Jackson area and some uh, aftershock sequences, I guess. I mean, it's not really a swarm, just uh, kind of like a maybe a main quake of a 2.7 and uh, some smaller earthquake activity striking there south of the uh, uh, Jackson Hole Airport, it looks like. Yellowstone itself, um, these guys, USGS, not really showing too much in terms of earthquake activity. Let's go ahead and check out the uh, Yellowstone overview seismograph stations here of Yellowstone National Park and um, still <clears throat> let's see what we got here inspection looking not a whole lot going on still seeing some movement uh, this was earlier today some activity here a little bit of uh, either very small microquakes um, from uh, tectonic stress or uh, these could be ice quakes a lot of times we get these ice quakes out here in the winter time um, from the ice buildup and whatnot um, it's actually a little article about this ice um, ice quakes at Yellowstone. I just got to check out their uh, their web page for that info. Well, let's see what else we got going on here. Oklahoma, eastern part of the country, not a whole lot going on over here. Alaska, <clears throat> a couple small quakes here within the last hour or so. And some general earthquake movement up here into the uh, uh, Denali area, it looks like. Rest of the Aleutian Trench. I uh, got some movement out here around the uh, volcanoes. Looks like a 1.6 and a 3.1 striking in that region earlier today. Big island of Hawaii. Southeast region still pretty active. Two separate swarms, though, but uh, generally about in the same location. Mono Loa, though, today still showing uh, a little bit of heightened earthquake activity. Nothing significant, no major swarm, but it uh, has been relatively quiet. A couple of small quakes there. At least a 2.1, it looks like, right around the... Uh, that one's way down south. A couple of them way down south. So, yeah, mostly these are just under the 2.0 range, right around the uh, Mono Loa area. Still got to watch that pretty closely. Just, uh, you know, she's uh, probably sleeping right now, but uh, that, that, that volcano will no doubt wake up for sure soon. Very soon. I just have a strange feeling about uh, the Mauna Loa uh, region. Uh, what do we got out here for the buoys? Let's go ahead and check out the uh, Java Trench area. I don't think we got anything kicking up here. Nothing really moving out here for now. Uh, no unusual events taking place with the plates or the uh, 
or the buoys out here. And far as space weather goes, I, I don't even know. I could probably skip this part tonight because there's not a whole lot going on. Green across the board for solar flare threat. And um, really nothing going on with the uh, three-day forecast either. The sun itself, a little coronal hole, a couple of them facing the Earth that could could intensify the um, three-day forecast here. Uh, but we'll have to see how much of that uh, uh, heads our way. I mean, it's pretty much directly facing Earth right now. Uh, sunspot activity, yes, there's two of them, but uh, they're just kind of sitting there, just floating along like a couple ducks on the water, just not really doing a whole lot, just enjoying the, the heat, I guess, on the sun. All right, folks, uh, let's see what else. We got anything else to cover? I don't, don't believe uh, we do. So I hope everyone has a good night. Stay safe out there. Crazy world. We're crazy times we're entering into. That's for sure. Just try to try to remain optimistic and positive. And um, yeah, that's, that's all we can do at the moment, folks. So peace out. Have a great and glorious night. I did see that uh, 6.2 there ringing the bell ringing the earth like a bell so uh got some seismic waves traveling across the uh the planet as we speak from that 6.2 earthquake nothing like a, what a eight or nine can do it's pretty crazy to watch the seismographs um following the, a major mega quake like that but uh 6.2 will do that as well depends on uh basically uh location and whatnot and, and the uh, plate dynamics all right folks i'm gonna jump off here Enough blabbering from me. Have a good night. We'll chat you guys tomorrow sometime. Peace out.